A big question that often comes up when people see houseplants growing out of a fish tank is, wait, aren't houseplants toxic? Won't that kill the fish? Well, that is a great question, and today we're going to answer it. Many houseplants are toxic to humans and dogs and cats because of particular chemicals in the plant which can cause uh, digestive problems and in some cases nervous system problems if they are ingested. And unfortunately, many of the houseplants that grow well out of a fish tank are on that list, like pothos and peace lily, anthurium, monstera, lucky bamboo, just to name a few. But just because they are toxic to humans and dogs and cats, does that mean that they are also toxic to fish? Well, the answer is yes and no. Let me explain. So first, let's talk about the yes. And here's a common scenario. In many pet stores, Lucky Bamboo is sold as an aquarium plant. Many people will buy it and plant it fully submerged in their aquarium. And it may survive for a time like this. Some people can grow pothos and peace lily underwater for a time. I made a short video not that long ago about how I can grow pothos underwater. And I still have some growing this way in that same tank as we speak. And though these plants may survive for a time underwater, they're never going to thrive. Because at the end of the day, these are terrestrial, not aquatic plants. So when they do eventually die underwater, like all plants, as they decay, they will release ammonia into the water. And if it's more ammonia than the tank can process quickly through plants absorbing it and bacteria consuming it, then you have toxic conditions for your fish. So house plants can be toxic indirectly through them dying and producing ammonia in the tank. And in that sense, all plants have the potential to be toxic if they die in mass. And the problem is not necessarily the ammonia created, it's the fact that there may not be enough live plants or bacteria to consume it quickly. So if, if enough plants die in large enough quantities, it creates a toxic environment because it, ammonia just overwhelms the system. Now let's go over the no, how they are not toxic. The house plants that I've been growing and I talk about here on this channel are not directly toxic to fish. To the best of my knowledge and experience, they do not contain chemicals that harm aquatic life. I have yet to encounter this as a problem. I've never lost fish to house plants. I've never encountered other people that have had this problem. Maybe they're out there and I haven't found them yet. But after several years of practice, after many hours of research of my own, many experiments of my own, I have yet to encounter houseplant toxicity in the aquarium. I am dedicated to continual learning and experimenting with growing different houseplants out of aquariums. So when or if I encounter this problem, I promise to make a video about it. As I mentioned earlier, these houseplants are terrestrial, not aquatic plants but many are adaptable and can thrive with their roots growing in the water. And they provide wonderful benefits, like helping to filter the water to the point where you can reduce or even eliminate water changes. This is so simple to do, and I'm more than happy to share what I've learned with you. But be sure to do your own research if you are concerned about a particular plant being toxic to humans or pets. The ASPCA website has a detailed list of plants that are labeled as safe or toxic to humans, dogs, and cats. I will include a link to that in the description below. Well, hopefully this video will alleviate any concerns you may have about the safety of growing houseplants out of your fish tank. Feel free to leave a comment below and please smash that like button if you have found this content helpful today. Now, until next time, remember, it's all about the plants.